African greys are the most well-known of all the parrots due to the fact they've been kept for literally hundreds of years, and they're very good talking birds. They can mimic almost any word of sound and seem to be almost able to use them in an appropriate manner. There's two types of greys that we keep as pets. The red tail variety, which is called the Congo gray, and the brown tail variety, which is called the Tim the gray. My African gray here, Darwin, is the red tail variety. And what's nice about them is that they're very quiet birds. Apart from the talking and whistling, they make hardly any screaming, so they're perfect birds for apartment, as long as you have the room for an appropriate cage. However, African greys have a very high metabolism, and they need a diet rich in calcium. There's some fine pelleted foods available to provide them with this. However, pellets alone are not enough. They love to crack open and split objects, so some seeds every day are important to keep them busy. The feathers of a gray are very, very soft and smooth, and as you see from Darwin, they're very good flyers. So to keep the feathers in good condition, you must mist them every single day with warm water from a plant mister. If you don't, they suffer from dry skin, and this can lead to an itchy bird that chews and destroys its feathers out of frustration. However, if you pay close attention to these basic husbandry tips, then the gray can be an extremely interactive and wonderful pet for many years. My African gray, Darwin, and I have been together for 20 years, and we're gonna have a lot more adventures together, probably when he comes back to me. And hopefully, if you get a baby African gray, your bird can be as friendly with you as Darwin is with me. Remember, with all pets, the love and attention you give them will reward you every day.